So this is the Corsair H100. It's one of Corsair's simple water cooling in a box units. For those of you that don't know, water cooling is an alternative way of cooling your computer. Usually you have these big heat sinks with giant loud fans on them. What's great about water cooling is that it's quieter and better at cooling your computer than air cooling. The problem is that it takes a lot of maintenance and it's really expensive, usually a couple hundred dollars. Corsair's models are a little bit cheaper. This particular model is only $100, whereas its smaller brothers like the H60, H70, and H80 can be even less. And they take almost no maintenance and no work to set up. You just hook the water block on your CPU like this, like you would any other heatsink, and it pumps water through these tubes up to a radiator that goes either on the top or the side of your computer, next to fans that cool the water as it goes through. Now you still have a little bit of a compromise to make because it still runs fans and fans are going to be loud and the more performance you want out of your cooler, the louder your fans are going to be. What's nice about the H100 is that it has this setting. You can put it on low if you would rather have a quieter system that has pretty good temperatures, or medium or high if you want your fans to be a little bit louder and get a little bit better cooling. That's better for, you know, if you're a gamer or a video editor. Now, unfortunately, you don't want to have to reach into your case every time you do this. So if you want a more variable system, like if you want to have it quiet when you're just browsing the web and writing, and then louder and better performance when you're gaming, for example, I suggest getting something like this. A fan controller that you can manually turn the knobs. So when I'm browsing the web, I have it running very quietly. And then when I start gaming or encoding video, I can turn on my fans to full speed. It's a little bit louder, but I'm gonna get much better performance out of that cooler. And if I'm overclocking, I can get much better performance out of my CPU. So this is just a really quick look at the H100. For more in-depth view, check out the article below on Lifehacker.